videos. Today I'll be working with MS Excel charts and graphs. I'll be working through two question papers which I've listed in this document over here. It will be a column chart and a pie graph. Let's read the instructions. It says create a column graph to compare the normal rate and overtime rate for each employee. So let's go back to MS Excel. So they're asking for the normal rate. So you want the name of the employer, the normal rate, and the same time they want to compare it with the overtime rate. So when we highlight, we normally highlight by keeping the left mouse button down and highlighting, selecting the particular text. So I'll be highlighting the name of the last employer, the normal rate for the last amount. Keep my finger in control while it is highlighted and I am going to do selective highlighting. Selective highlighting is keeping your finger in control and I'll be highlighting the overtime rate. Now please note that this range should be in equal in line with this range. It cannot be one more cell. If it does give one more cell and I click on insert, I go to charts, it will give me a blank. Why? Because this is one more cell than that. So I'll be highlighting the range and I'll be selecting the other range with click, keeping my finger in control. I'll click on charts, insert and charts, and they want a column chart. Let's use a clustered column chart in this case and click on OK. Now, I'm going back to the instructions. The instructions are say display the amount of the charts outside in print. This is a very important instruction. Print the graph as a new sheet. So you can print it as an object and you can print it as a new sheet. So an object would be below the spreadsheet or a new sheet, which I have a sheet one over here with my information here and will be on a new sheet. I click away from my chart. If I, if you look at my chart, there are dots around my chart. These mean this means that it is selected. If I click away from the chart, if you see file, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, and view. Once I select my chart, you can see there are two additional tabs that comes up: design and format. So we will be using design and format to edit our chart. So they have said new sheet. So can you see move chart in the far right? Click on move chart. Choose where you want the chart to be placed in a new sheet because that's what the instruction is saying. You can give it a name. I will say column chart. And I'll click on OK. It's not needed to rename it, but I'm just renaming it now. Let's go to the instructions. So I've Create a column, I've done that. Insert the following chart titles. If I click on the Excel, you can see chart title over here. I can click inside the text box and I can delete it. Or on your far left hand side under design, your far left hand side, add chart elements is a drop down arrow. This is, this is where you're going to do all your editing. It will be your axis titles, chart titles, data labels, legion, etc. They are talking about the chart title. They're not saying we should move it. So it's above the chart, which is correct. And the instruction is examination number, which will be your ID number, comparison and question 1C. So it will be examination number. I'm not going to type in any ID number. I'll type it as it is. Examination number. Press enter. Comparison, press enter, and question 1C. I click away from it or press escape, and that's to insert a chart title. The next one is display the legion to the right hand side. What is the legion? At the bottom, you can see it's normal rate and overtime rate. As we selected, the text was normal rate, overtime rate. So I'm going to click on the chart. So they're saying move the legion to the right. Where do I go? Add chart elements again. Legion, none, right, top, left, bottom. Currently it is at the bottom. They are saying move to the right. So I click on the right. As we see now, it is moved to the right. 
the next instruction. Provide the following titles for the X and the Y axis. X axis, name of employee, which is the primary horizontal. The Y axis is amount, which is primary vertical. So let's first start with the primary horizontal, which is the X axis. So we got to add chart elements. Axis titles is primary horizontal. Primary horizontal is at the bottom. If you look, horizontal goes across and vertical goes up and down over here. So the instruction is name of employees. So I click in the text box. Name of employees. And add chart elements. Axis titles. Vertical goes on the side over here. You backspace this and here you need to type amounts so this is your vertical and this is horizontal so num instruction number five display the amount of the chart outside in so this is data labels add chart elements again your data labels center inside out inside base outside in data call out they are asking for outside end. So I'm clicking on outside end. It's a perfect fit. Nothing is overlapping with each other. Number six, print the graph as a new sheet. So we have placed it already in a new sheet. So what we have done is chart title, legion, we move to the right, your ver vertical axis and your horizontal axis, name of employees and amounts, and we have done data labels to print file print and this is on a new sheet so let's do the next instruction the next instruction over here is a pie chart create a pie graph to display the total wage of each employee so display the total wage so let's go back to the sheet where the data is in so they want the Total wage, so they want the employees information, names, of course, and we want the total wage. So we're not inserting the total, it's just the total wage. Click on insert, charts, more charts, all charts, pie chart, and let's use a 3D pie chart, and I click on OK. Let's go back to the instructions. The instruction says create the following chart titles. Display the legend to the right hand side. Display the amount of the chart outside in and print as a new sheet. So while I'm over here, I click on move chart. We don't want to move it to a new sheet. And I can give the name as a pie chart. I click on OK. Let's move to a sheet and now I need to type in the chart title. Let's go back to the chart title. The chart is examination number total wage and question 1C. Examination number total wage and question 1C. Normally they'd always ask you to put it over two or three lines. Uh, the next instruction Display the legion to the right hand side. So where do I go to again? Design format under design is add chart elements. Legion, the one to the right again. Move to the right. Last instruction is display the amounts on the chart outside in Add chart elements, data label, and outside in. Last instruction, print the graph as a new sheet. So click on file, print, and you will print it on a new sheet. Let's go back to the column chart. 
If you can see under design, these are the different types of design factors. You do not play around with this unless they do ask you to play around. All the important information that you need to use for editing is under add chart elements. Formatting will be changing the font, the shading, the grid lines, etc.